The initial plan for the Comet program was to create 20 different lessons on different topics to assist with the modernization of the National Weather Service, which was a major activity in the 1990s. We've always been at the forefront of the technology used for instruction. Uh, early on, that was producing instruction on huge standalone laser disks. That then evolved to CDs and DVDs, and along the way, we moved to the web. Comet's MetaEd site has nearly 300,000 registered users, and we're actually adding 3 to 5,000 each month. So the MetaEd website is an unbelievably cool resource for folks interested in geosciences. It offers hundreds of hours of lessons materials. In Section 1, we reviewed some of the basic concepts regarding atmosphere-ocean general circulation models. Comet lessons are very convenient. Students can access them anytime. All you have to do is register on the website. The graphics are crisp, lots of animations and movies built into the lessons, and the lessons provide great supplemental material for my students. It was initially a lot of mesoscale meteorology, which is uh, the kind of weather that tends to impact us the most on a daily basis. And over time, it's grown to be about water resources, hydrology, space weather, uh, ocean science, so it's really become a full-fledged geoscience website. I use several Comet lessons in my classes here at Penn State. For example, in Synoptic Meteorology, I have my students review the skew t log p diagram using a Comet lesson, and I have them complete a lesson about ensemble forecasting. And Camp Springs, did you make it in? Yeah, we're here, man. Okay, great. Buffalo? There. We offer facilitated live events where the instructors come to the Comet classroom and some of the Comet staff support them and we conduct an entire interactive state-of-the-art rigorous science course at a distance where the students are able to stay either at home or back at their offices and save their employers millions of dollars. So we have over 20 years experience offering residence training in our classroom and we still do that when it's the right way to meet a particular training need and we've expanded that by uh, also making a blended learning experience where sometimes people take course materials online either prior to the course or as a follow-on training experience after a particular event. Instructional design is at the heart of everything that we do. It's really what makes our products outstanding and different from other people that work in the field that we work in. We define the training needs and then we can align those specific training needs to objectives in our lessons and then we can select content and learning activities that enable our learners to achieve those objectives. Our instructional designers and our graphic artists can bring your message to life and make sure that it's really hitting the point and meeting the end needs of the users in a really clear and concise manner. So distance learning is expensive to develop initially if you have a small audience, it may not be practical, but when your audience is large and you've created a lesson that continues to meet their need, then your investment over time is actually really cost effective. We are the cost effective alternative. Just to give an example, we have done intermediate wildland fire behavior training. We converted a four-day residence course to a distance learning format. Over the past two and a half years since that was implemented, there have been estimated five million dollars worth of savings and travel costs by people taking the course online instead of in residence. One of the wonderful things about Comet is that we get access to some of the best scientists and experts in the field. In a recent Comet lesson, we've been working a lot with water vapor imagery and how a forecaster or a user can use that imagery to help them build a 3D mental model of the atmosphere. To help users understand that 3D mental model, we've extruded a water vapor image to show them all the peaks and valleys and all the twists and turns that live on that imagery. One of the comments I hear from users of our materials is that we're the best at what we do, and I think that results from a combination of not only sound science and good instruction, but really impressive visuals to accompany the material so that it's really a full learning experience. Ultimately, we get to help a diverse audience of people learn more, faster, and for less expense 
than they might have otherwise been able to. And we get to do this in a way that helps people make better decisions in their daily lives, make better forecasts that help people. And so it's a really rewarding place to be.